Well, how does Real Madrid approach this Final Four, considering the fact that you missed it last season and couldn't defend your Champions title? Yeah, we're excited. Uh, this is this is what we, we come here to play for, uh, to play hard during the, the regular season, to be able to have a chance to go to the Final Four. Um, you know, last year we just couldn't quite get there, but uh, we're back this year. Very excited to be there and uh, we're going to go and, and do everything we can to, to win it. Mm -hmm. And does the fact that Fenerbahce prevented Madrid from reaching fi the Final Four last season um, uh, gives you and the team some extra motivation ahead of this semifinal? You know, honestly, I don't think I, we need and, and I've never needed extra motivation to, to go into a Final Four. Um, there's, there's enough motivation there already, so uh, whoever, whichever the opponent would have been, uh, we would have gone with, uh, with excitement, with energy, and uh, with, with a lot of desire to win it. But wouldn't it be a sweet revenge, <laughs> would it? Again, it would be nice. It would be nice to beat them. That's who we, that's who we got. Whoever it was, it would have been nice. Um, really, it makes no difference to me. Okay. Uh, you've already won the EuroLeague. Does this fact take the pressure off you ahead of the upcoming Final Four or on the contrary put even more pressure? Yeah, um, having, having achieved a Final Four already, it's uh, definitely, um, you know, it's, it's nice. It's good to know that um, um, you've had that, that opportunity in your career. Um, however, uh, you're still playing, you still want more. Um, so more pressure, less pressure. It's hard to say. Um, again, it's a Final Four, and um, and we're gonna go in as if we we've never won one before. I feel like uh, you've got something to prove since you won the title playing at home. Is the challenge bigger now? <laughs> All these questions, I feel like they they go in the same circle. It's a Final Four. Um, yeah, we won one in Madrid, but it was a Final Four. It wasn't our court. It wasn't our our stadium. Um, it was set up backwards to how we do it. Um, we've been to them um, in, in Milan, in London, and now uh, we're going to go to one in Istanbul. Um, you know, we're not going to have any fans there, or very few, and there's going to be a lot of fans from other teams, but that's how it's, that's how it's been in, in most of the Final Fours we've been to. Um, so going there, uh, we just got to go and, and play hard. Again, it's a, it's a Final Four. There's not, not much more story than that. And speaking about the support of the Turkish crowd, uh, does this make Fenerbahce a favorite? I think it certainly helps. Uh, they have very little travel to do. Uh, just kind of got to drive a little ways across the city. Um, but there's a lot of good teams. We have to play Fenerbahce, and the other side, you know, Olympiakos has won some. Cheska's the the reigning champion. So um, the the best thing we have going for us is we we have guys that have been in the Final Four. We have guys that have won the Final Four, and that experience is going to be, um, you know, really, a really big help when it comes to uh, big, big moments in the game. Mm -hmm. And you are a different team now as compared to the one that won the title two years ago. Do you believe that now the side that have been at the top throughout the regular season is better than that of two years ago? Oh, it's hard to hard to compare teams. Um, you know, every team has its strengths and weaknesses. That team that won the Final Four was, was a great team. We had, we had a great fit and great chemistry. Um, in the end, you know, this team's coming together. Uh, there's definitely a lot of weapons this year. And again, it's hard to say what team would be better. Um, we, we came into the Final Four two years ago playing a very high level of basketball. And this year we're trying to do the same thing. How different is the team this time? Yeah. Um, you know, some strengths that, that we, we've had that continue on is, is offensively we're, we're generally able to score points, uh, to, to get out in the fast break. Um, we, we shoot well from outside. Um, and our in, inside presence has been good. You know, some things are different. Um, you know, our point guards, we have a very young point guard um, and Luka Doncic is coming in who's done a, had a great season and, and I, I expect him to play extremely well. But. Uh, you know, we, we had Sergio Rodriguez two years ago, which has lots of experience, played lots of games, been around the world. And uh, this will be, um, you know, a, a good experience for Luca in his first Final Four with us. He's won it with the juniors. And, um, and then we got some new guys, um, you know, Randolph, but he's, he was there last year. We got Dante, who's been to a couple of Final Fours before. So um, a lot of strengths, and um, I think we'll go in and do just fine. You just mentioned Luka Doncic. Uh, what do you think about the guy? Have you ever seen a player who would perform at such a high level at such a young age? Uh, no, and that's because there aren't a lot. Um, you know, there's he's he's doing something very special at his age. 
Um, you know, he's, he's a big kid that plays, plays point guard, uh, handles the ball well, um, you know, keeps his cool and uh, has a lot of confidence. I mean, he comes out and plays with confidence. And in the end, um, if you give every player a nice little box of confidence, that's one of the biggest things that, uh, that helps players be very successful. And what impresses you the most about him? I think it's his, his ability to do a little bit of everything. Um, he's, he's, he's such a, again, I keep saying big kid, you know, he's, he's, he's six nine point guard, which, which are very rare. Um, he's able to, to, to play point guard, but because of his size, he rebounds extremely well. Um, he can put, play in the post. He can, uh, he can pass the ball and set guys up. And one of the great surprises this year has been how well he's, he shot the ball. He's, he's made some very, um, you know, some very big shots for us down the stretch. Well, and thanks to your shooting ability, you were one of the key players when the team won the EuroLeague uh, two years ago. Do you think that uh, basketball in general moves towards the pace and space model of the Warriors and shooters are a valuable asset? Well, right now, um, there's definitely a trend in, well, in the NBA um, for a lot of, lot of three-point shots and things like that. You know, the Houston Rockets, the Golden State Warriors, these guys are all doing it. Um, but honestly, We've been doing it here for the last six years with Pablo Lasso. We've been running up and down the floor, playing at a very high pace and, uh, and, and shooting a lot of three-pointers. So um, that's the style we've had since Pablo came here. And uh, we're just going to go out and, and be true to ourselves. Oh, good. And last question, what should Real Madrid do to win this title this time? Good. Uh, with us, uh, I always, I always repeat, it always comes down to the same kind of thing. Um, you know, we, we're going to score points. But um, it depends on the defensive end. We need to play defense and we need to rebound. If we can defend and out-rebound our opponents, um, it'll be, be very hard to, to beat us.